ദാനായ ദാനായ ചരക്ഷണായ small village of kerala a young and devoted priest named father matthew kadalikattil embarked on a remarkable journey that would forever change the lives of countless people it was a journey inspired by a profound desire for change growth and the betterment of our future generations Reverend Father Matthew Kadalikattil, founder of Sacred Heart Congregation, was born on 25th April 1872 in Kerala. From an early age, he displayed a deep spiritual connection and a strong desire to serve others. As a priest, he dedicated his life to the service of God and his fellow human beings father matthew's life was rooted in deep sense of prayer every evening as the sun dipped below the horizon casting long shadows across the quiet village he would retreat to the humble sanctuary of the church It was here in the dimly lit interior that he poured out his heart in fervent prayer. As he knelt in the solitude of the church, his voice resonated with the echoes of hardships faced by the people under his care. and his prayers were interwoven with their hopes and aspirations he prayed for the poor the sick and the marginalized asking for divine guidance to alleviate their sufferings father matthew had a profound and a life altering encounter with the divine while he was immersed in deep prayer divine call filled his heart with a deep sense of purpose father matthew knew he had received a vision a mission that led him to start sacred heart congregation for women sneha danaya charakshanaya
available mainly to the affluent classes and impoverished children had limited or no access to formal education these children often faced a life of ignorance and economic hardship due to lack of educational opportunities there were children thirsting for education with full of curiosity and potential they faced numerous challenges and obstacles but father matthew believed that education was a powerful tool and means to liberate individuals from the clutches of poverty and ignorance enabling them to lead more dignified lives my dear children i want to hear about your dreams and aspirations what do you wish for the most in life well i have dreamt of going to school me too i want to learn and read books I want to be a teacher when I grow up. Those are wonderful dreams. Education is a powerful tool that can help you achieve those dreams. Why don't you go to school? Father, we can't afford it. Schools are only in the cities. Our parents don't have so much money to send us in the city schools. And we don't have good schools in village. but we really want to learn father we wish to see good schools are made in villages too that's the spirit dreams and determinations can take you far i'll do my best to support you on this journey sneha danaya charakshanaya
मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट चलो आज से हम काम नहीं करेंगे सिर्फ पढ़ाई करेंगे और अपना सपना पूरा करेंगे कुछ पाने की हो आस आस कोई अरमा हो जो खास खास आशा है हर कोशिश में हो बार बार कर दरियाओं को बार बार आशा है Father Matthew envisioned a society where every child regardless of their socio-economic background could receive a quality education. He understood that this was the cornerstone of building a just and a harmonious society. With this great vision Venerable Father Matthew Kadalikattil established an English medium middle school at Lalam one of the villages in Kerala facing numerous difficulties and hardships This school later grew into high school which is doing exemplary service for higher education and overall progress of women in the area I can't believe we are actually in school. It's like a dream come true. I know. It's incredible. I never thought we would get a chance to learn. You seem pretty excited. Is there something on your mind? We are just so happy to be here, father. We never thought we would have a chance to go to school. Yeah. We used to watch other kids go to school and we always wished we could join them. Well, I'm really glad to have you both here. Education is a wonderful opportunity and it's never too late to learn. We promise we'll work hard and make the most of this chance. This is amazing. I love learning. Me too. And it's all thanks to the school. Thank you, Father. We are so grateful for this opportunity. Yes father you have given us a chance to make our dreams come true It's my pleasure my dear children I am proud of your enthusiasm and dedication Keep working hard and remember education is a key to a brighter future
से मिल बंधन के निकले सवेरे सवेरे यार से मिलने घर से दूर चले रोके से ना रुके हम बरसी से चले बादल सा घर से हम सावन सा बरसे हम सूरज सा चमके हम स्कूल चले हम स्कूल चले हम दरवाजे से दुनिया के राज खुलते हैं कोई आगे चलता है हम पीछे चलते हैं दीवारों पे किस्मत अपनी लिखी जाती है इससे हमको जीने की वजह मिलती जाती है रुके से न रुके हम मर्जी से चले हम बादल सा घर से हम सावन सा पर से हम सूरत सा चमके हम स्कूल चले हम स्कूल चले हम a time of rapid industrialization and societal transformation there existed a group of individuals whose voices often went unheard and their stories untold these were the marginalized of that era whose lives were shaped by the world in flux Father Matthew's compassion and empathy for the suffering were boundless. He firmly believed that every person regardless of their social or economic status deserved dignity and respect. He saw it as his mission to ensure this and took it as a challenge to uplift the poor and the marginalized snehaya danaya charakshanaya I have heard about your struggles you all face and I wanted to listen to your stories and understand your experiences. Father, it's not easy for us. We face discrimination every day. We are not allowed in many places and we are treated as inferior. I am deeply sorry to hear that. No one should ever be treated as inferior. because of their caste or background it's unjust we to have dreams father we want our children to get an education 
to have a better life but opportunities are limited for us your dreams and aspirations are just as valuable as anyone else's in the eyes of god we are all equal let's work together to bring about a positive change in our society we won't forget your kindness father change takes time and effort but with determination and unity we can overcome the barriers of discrimination and inequality i will support you in this journey thank you father your words give us hope let's work together for a brighter future where all individuals regardless of their background can thrive and live with dignity sneha danaya charakshanaya kise puchu hai sa kyun be के पल कहा ढूंढो बे निशा वक्त भी यहाँ है जाने कितने लबों पे गिरे हैं जिंदगी से कई फासले हैं जते हैं सपने क्यों लकीरें जब छूटे न हाथों से यूं बे बचा जो भेजी थी दुआ वो जाके आसमान से यू टकरा गई के आ गई है लौट के सदा देंगे तुझे जाने तुझे देंगे नहीं जाने नहीं देंगे तुझे जाने तुझे देंगे नहीं चाहे तुझको रब बुला ले हम न रब से राहों में डट के खड़े हैं हम चारों से नजरे चुरा ले चाहे जितना दम लगा ले जाने ना तुझको ऐसे देंगे हम हे भगवान ऐसी दुनिया में रहकर क्या सुख जहाँ भूखे के नसीब में खाना नहीं प्यासे को पानी नहीं और सारे के लिए छत रही मैं नहीं जीना चाहता ऐसी दुनिया में सुन ले यारों की ये बातें बीतेंगे सब गम की रातें यारों से रूठा है साले क्यों जाने नहीं देंगे तुझे
people were cast aside disregarded by society often living in dire circumstances without the basic necessities and most importantly without the love and care they deserve Father Matthew Kadalikattil could not stand idly by He dedicated his life to restoring the dignity of these forgotten elderly citizens, ensuring that they could live their remaining years with respect and love. shown your shelter a comforting grace oh father we didn't expect to see anyone here yes it's been a long time since someone has spoken to us kindly i've been observing you all from a distance it breaks my heart to see such wise and experienced soul abandoned like this can you tell me your stories well we used to have families but they got too busy with their lives and we became a burden to them we are left alone here and they rarely visit us it's been years so sorry to hear that everyone deserves love and care especially in their old age you all lived remarkable lives i'm sure you all have left a mark on this world with your talents and kindness but you don't deserve to be alone now you are not forgotten what do you mean father i'll come by tomorrow with some of the young ones and we all can get to know each other better you are not alone anymore You are valued and cherished. सेकते थे नैना ठहर के छाव ढूंढते हैं यू जुदा हुए कदम जिन्होंने ली थी ये कसम मिलके चलेंगे हर दम अब बांटते हैं ये गम भी गए नैना जो सांझ खाब देखते थे नैना बिछड़ के आज रो दिए सिक 
सी सक के हवाएं जग सुना लगे चंद से जो टूटे कोई सपना जग सुना सुना लगे जग सुना सुना लगे कोई रहे ना जब अपना जग सुना सुना लगे जग सुना सुना लगे रे world filled with hardships and despair there emerged a group of women whose hearts brimmed with compassion their shared vision was to work selflessly for the betterment of the poor and needy and to spend a life devoted in prayer in this process they boarded on a remarkable journey that gave birth to a religious congregation dedicated to this noble cause this was the birth of their initiative sacred heart congregation rooted in the values of compassion humility and love for their fellow human beings Father I have been feeling a calling a strong desire to dedicate my life to help the poor and needy I want to start a religious life but I am not sure how to go about it Father I have always felt a deep connection with those less fortunate I have volunteered at shelters and helped in various ways but I want to do more I want to make it my life's mission. I can see your determination and it's truly inspiring. Continue praying and discerning. Your journey might be challenging, but it will be immensely rewarding. I'm here to support you on this path. That's reassuring to know, Father. We truly believe this is our life's purpose. and we want to follow it with all our hearts remember there will be innumerable challenges in your life you need to leave your family your beloved ones and need to love these people as your own yes father we are ready for that we'll see god in everyone and we will serve god in everyone we are not seeking any reward from anybody because we know when we do this for the least one we do for god who will reward us eternally may god guide you on this noble path and may you find peace and fulfillment in serving the poor and needy we will father thank you for being a beacon of light in our lives sneha danaay चरक्षणाय
journey by identifying the most pressing needs in their community their efforts soon gained recognition and more women joined their cause the congregation's reach expanded beyond their village reaching out to the poor and needy in the neighboring areas the congregation's impact continued to grow and they realized the need for a more structured approach to their work they established community centers schools and hospitals to provide comprehensive support to the underprivileged Thus, Sacred Heart Sisters are here with us in this temple of learning, Sacred Heart Convent School, Nalambi. Hey guys, have you ever wondered what Sacred Heart Sisters do? I mean, they are always helping people in our community, but I am not exactly sure what their work involves. Sure, they run several schools, including here in our village. Their focus is on providing quality education in undeveloped areas and they promote values like kindness, empathy and community service. That's pretty cool. So they are not just involved in education, right? Yeah. They also give medical support in rural areas, charitative activities for the underprivileged including old and destitute and faith formation to their community members. That's amazing. I had no idea they were so involved in our community. How do they manage to do all this? Do they get any help? 
they rely on their own members who take vows of poverty, chastity and obedience. It's really impressive how dedicated they are. They receive strength from God through their prayers and they experience God's guidance in all these activities. It's great to know that they are making such a positive impact in our village by establishing Sacred Heart Convent School, Nalimbi. Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart, Fountain of Sacred Love, Sisters of Sacred Heart, Flames of Divine Love. Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart, Fountain of Sacred Love, Sisters of Sacred Heart, Flames of Divine Love, Messengers of Peace and Joy, Faces of God's kindness, Dedicate our lives to you, Sacred Heart forever. Messengers of peace and joy, Faces of God's kindness, Dedicate our lives to you, Sacred Heart forever. We aim for redemption, Compassion and passion, Giving ourselves to humankind, Is our mission. Giving ourselves to humankind is our mission. We aim for redemption, compassion, our passion. Giving ourselves to humankind is our mission. Giving ourselves to humankind is our mission. As we witness, the dedication of Venerable Father Matthew Kadalikatil and Sacred Heart Sisters, we realize that this journey is not exclusive. It is an open invitation for anyone willing to make a difference. As students, parents and well-wishers of Sacred Heart Convent School, let's unite in support, embodying the spirit of empathy and making a difference together in the lives of those less fortunate. Together, we can create a ripple effect that reaches the farthest corner of need.
Let's make a brighter day So let's start giving